straight to you, Cause. What do you make of the SNP stripping the whip of Member of the Scottish Parliament, John Mason, simply for saying this. If Israel wanted to commit genocide, they would have killed 10 times as many. He is disputing the idea that what's going on in Gaza is a genocide. He's not saying it's right. He's not condoning it. He's not saying the suffering isn't real. He's not saying too many people haven't died. He's simply saying he doesn't think it's a genocide. Is that a sackable offence in this day and age? Mandy in Edgware. Morning. Um... I think it's utterly abhorrent what they've done to poor John Mason, who has had the whip removed with immediate effect. Mm -hmm. Um, If Israel wanted to commit genocide, let's face it, it would have all been over by tea time on the 8th of August. Israel had the weapons to have done it. The 8th of October 2023. But Mandy, the, the, point that, the point that Angus Neal was making is just because you don't commit a bigger genocide, it doesn't mean you're not guilty of genocide. Israel, I don't think anyone doubts Israel, has the means to kill more people, even more people, than the tens of thousands that have been killed. That doesn't mean it's not a genocide, he was saying. But also, that, that gentleman, I'll, I'll use that loosely, the word, um, he said that Israel is um, destroying the infrastructure of Gaza. Did he mention the hundreds of miles of tunnels underneath, which had an opening in every, almost every house, every school, every hospital in Gaza? The tunnels that went through to Egypt, where but Mandy, you can't you can't in. dispute that Israel is dis, is destroying infrastructure in Gaza, surely. Well, what should Israel do? Just stand by but, and but watch that's not the question. do that again and again. That's not the question. You can't dispute that Israel is destroying the infrastructure in Gaza. Well, yes, of course they're destroying it. Otherwise, that infrastructure will be, will be complicit in committing another pogrom. How could infrastructure but, but, be complicit? With the terror, with the tunnels. But it's, I mean, at school, a school can't be complicit. A hospital can't be complicit. No, but the but the terrorists, Hamas, use those schools and churches and kindergartens as their where they they, and, they actually does, and that just launch their rockets from them, which you, makes them legitimate war targets. So you would say if you if you if you take out a hospital and hundreds and hundreds of innocent people die, but there's a Hamas, uh, I don't know, Hamas um, headquarters in the basement, then it's fair game. But the whole hospital is complicit. And, and, and if how one they, doctor, what, what do you, hang I, on, you keep, if one person goes against it, they will be shot. Well, then I've they're not complicit, are it. they? If they get, what, what are you saying then? Israel shouldn't do anything. Well, on the one hand, it. you're saying they're complicit. On the other hand, you're saying if they sp- stand against it, they're going to be shot. Yes, they would do. Yes. Right. So, what, what, so what are they, they're not complicit do? then, are they? What, this, this terror group, who have been described as ISIS on steroids, mm-hmm. said they would commit 23rd of October 23 again yeah. and again. Now, the hostages are still there. Has anyone mentioned the hostages? Yes, Why don't endlessly. they just I've talked about the hosti- hostages? But, uh, Mandy, and, yeah. how many of the hostages have been rescued during this operation in Gaza? Not, not many. Not many. Is it Why don't six they just we're release at? the hostages? Then more, their billions of children won't die. Far, far more have been killed than have been rescued yes, by I the know, Israeli I military know. operation, which surely makes it a massive failure. Well, they've, they've got four out. And when they went into Rafa, they've killed, they, they they've killed more, more than they've rescued. Why do you so, think the hostage families are urging Netanyahu to bring about a ceasefire? The, the, um, Israel says that they will never leave anybody behind. But just answer, Andy, Mandy, Mandy tell me that. Children. Why are the yeah. families of the hostages not urging more war, not urging this operation to continue, but pleading with the Israeli government to stop it? Because they want their families back. And, and, their and, sons, and, and they daughters. know that the best way to get them back is not through more fighting, don't they? And do you know how they'll get them back? Go on. To um, exchanging with prisoners in Israel who have been responsible for a lot of the terror attacks. Right, but you either my, want my the hostages... Family, my whole family were in Israel in 2001. But Mandy, yeah. With the Sparrow restaurant, the pizza restaurant. We were having lunch at two o'clock on that Thursday but, afternoon, a few miles up the road. It could have been but, our whole family. But what are you saying? Right. That you either want the hostages back or you don't. And if the way to get them back is through exchanges and negotiations, then surely you just want them back. Well, yes. Let's see what happens. I, we don't have any part. We, we have to leave that to the politicians. But the whole question is, it's not genocide. 
And how dare how, they remove why, it? It's why not why are you so confident that it's not? Because because numerous um, uh, military people, Colonel Kemp and a whole load of other um, military people have signed but, um, saying that Israel has and, been... And, and, um, and Mandy, come on, you know that there are other experts in international law who say that it yeah, is. What, James O'Brien? Yeah, no, okay. no, ex- like mm. international lawyers and other military <laughs> experts who say that it is. It so is you, you can. Conf- all I'm saying is, you can find experts on both sides of this. You can't point to one group as proof that it's not, with a, okay. while ignoring the fact that others Fair are saying enough. that it is. Fair enough. But forty thousand. Those are hammered figures. That includes thousands, tens of thousands of terrorists. How do you know that? Because Israel has said that, and I believe them. But- don't you believe a democratic country? Well, I think they Israel has exactly Israel has saying. put out disinformation before. <laughs> and, and no, I don't think Israel has said this tens of thousands. Israel hasn't said how many combatants it believes has killed. So yes, within the 40,000, there will be definitely thousands, I would say, that are Hamas operatives. But again, man, we just don't know. And I'm very wary, to be honest with you, of people on sort of both sides of this argument claiming to know things as fact that we just don't know. Let's talk to Amjad in Leeds about this. The, um, had the SNP got this one wrong, Amjad, do you think? Good morning. No, I think they've got it right. Ben, I disagree with you, uh, and I'll tell you why. Go on. Political parties withdraw the whip all the time. Recently, the Labour Party withdrew the whip against some of its MPs, eight or nine of them, including Richard Bergham, uh, an MP for a neighbouring constituency of mine in Leeds when they stood out against their party for not withdrawing... But I'm the, done, I'm the, just let's, the, let's get the facts. No, let me, no, let, let, me, let me just get the... I've got to put the facts there. They voted against the government in a vote in the House of Commons. They didn't post yes. something on social media. They actively rebelled against the government. Yes, and in, in a case where the SNP have had a strident view, which was pro-Palestinian, when the two major parties of this country have been pro-Israeli, the SNP has been pro-Palestinian. So they cannot allow one of its elected members of the parliament, Scottish parliament, to go against that viewpoint. So they've withdrawn the whip, as, they, as it's their right to do. You can't be in a political party and espouse views which are against the fundamental beliefs but of that party. But of course party. you can. Let's take Labour, for example. Labour, there were Labour MPs demanding a ceasefire in the Middle East long before that was the party position, weren't there? Yes. yes. Did they have all, all have the whip removed by Keir Starmer? Of course they didn't. There were Tory MPs that were demanding a ceasefire long before that was the position of Rishi Sunak and his team. Did they have the whip withdrawn? Of course they didn't, because those parties recognise that this is a difficult issue where people will have different views, and they respect that. And the SNP has taken a basically agree with us or you're out approach. Ben, I know quite a few uh, Labour MPs that did vote against the party. They've lost positions, ministerial positions, that which they would have held because they took a political view which was against the political party, which they fundamentally changed. The political party then went on to change their views subsequently. But they were right in their beliefs. They stood up for their beliefs. And, and so the party can withdraw the whip. And that's what they've done. Because this guy had said something obnoxious in the view of the Why party. Why is it obnoxious? Well, because ten times killing ten times people more is four hundred thousand people. Forty thousand people. Seventy percent of but them he's, Lambert, he's not, women he's not, and children have died. And this guy's. But saying he's not it's saying right. Israel should. He's not said. This is the point. People are extrapolating from what he actually said. To all sorts of things. You're saying it's, it's, in, it's, it's incompatible with the SNP being pro-Palestinian. Why? Why is simply saying he doesn't think it's a genocide? How is that incompatible with being pro-Palestinian or pro-the Palestinian people? He's not saying it should have been more. He's not saying it's not enough. He's simply saying that he doesn't believe it's a genocide. And his logic for that is Israel has the means and the capability to kill far more people than the many, to far too many it's killed already, if you ask me. And it hasn't. And that suggests that it's not a country with genocidal intent. That's all he's saying. And people are sort of reading into that and making all sorts of leaps about things he hasn't actually said. 